Good morning. Um, uh, this is a case of a 79 years old lady uh, presented with ACS, uh, non state elevation MI, non STEMI, and uh, CHF. Uh, she was treated medically first in the intensive care unit for CHF and uh, non STEMI, and then brought for her catheterization. You see here we have heavily calcified vessels. We have this tight lesion in the LED, which is diffused proximal to. Uh, mid distal segment and um, uh, there is different views so um, this is the lesion we need to work on right now and uh, this is the LED let's take different um, views so I'm gonna work on the areocrani as usual, I will use um, uh, good support from the guide, which is XP35, and we have a guideliner. Of course, you won't advance the guideliner to um, advance the balloon. And then here is the lesion, almost occlusive, 95-99%, heavily calcified. This is run through, landing well distal. So we're going to start working with a um, uh, 2-0 balloon first, then we'll do shockwave. So here is um, the 2-0 balloon, inflated at 16. And here is the um, uh, injection after the 2-0 um, balloon. You see the um, uh, we dissected the plaque, which is very expected. We're going to expect that dissection here. And in this situation, you just have to be careful um, uh, keeping the wire in place and make sure the tech is not gonna pull the wire. And then we're gonna do um, shock wave up to here. And then we're gonna probably fix this area first to allow the guide liner to pass and fix this area if we need to fix it after we fix the proximal. Now you see the guide liner here still have a nice pressure with some ventricularization. Here I'm using the 2.5 shock wave after shocking the proximal and mid to distal. Then we have now flow here. So you're not gonna expect the stent to pass without advancing the guideliner. So you have to be just careful and do it fast. Get this stent ready and then inflate the balloon here. And then, here you go. And then while the balloon inflated, you pass the guide liner. Watch your pressure, keep the um, uh, to it open. And then after that, you advance the stent. Once you advance the stent, then unsheath it and pull the guide liner to this point where the pressure will be good. Here I'm using a um, 3038 stent and inflated at high pressure. And then there is another um, uh, segment also, another stent, 30. And then here we try to make sure the stent in nice spot and then inflate it. And the proximal segment also high pressure. The same scenario, advance the um, uh, balloon inflated and advance the guide liner to look distal and make sure there is nothing missing and need to be fixed. And now here you can advance the 2538 stent, which is um, distal, also at high pressure. And then here's the final. So the point here it's not always we're going to fix from um, distal and uh, to proximal. Sometimes we have to fix the um, axis to the distal segment. And in such heavily calcified lesion, it's not possible without doing those steps and use the um, guide liner. Otherwise, you're going to use multiple short stents. So if you're going to use um, uh, long stents, you have to do it that way. And here we have nice results. Alright, thank you for watching and hope you enjoy it.